Only a handful of legislators attended the public hearing, among them Representative Doug Johnstone, the only one to comment on federal judge Pittman's ruling. Pittman agreed with Johnstone the criminal punishment statute against the mayor for spending beyond the budget was too strict. Pittman will now get with the attorneys for the two sides in the case and draw up a final decree sometime after Christmas. Pittman told the legislators they could pass a bill if they wanted to, but it would have to stay within his guidelines. Then, in telling of the three possible rulings by the appeals court, Pittman said they could uphold the unconstitutional portion of his ruling, but reject his city council mandate. If this happens, it would leave the city no place to go but back to the old mayor, 15-member alderman councilman form of government, unless the legislature passed a new mayor-council bill before next summer's election, giving the city a second choice. Reactions to Pittman's statements varied. State Senator Bill Roberts, who failed to get a strong mayor-council bill passed last session, says he doesn't know what the legislature will do, but that he won't try again. And State Representative Doug Johnstone also appeared hesitant. A great deal of um, public sentiment both pro and con, and I'm a representative of the people. I'm supposed to reflect what my constituent want. The feelings of City Mayor Lambert Mims haven't changed. I don't want to be a party to any dictatorial decision that takes the rights of the people away from them. And so my position is still the same. I plan uh, personally to go all the way to Supreme Court with this issue. All of this litigation may not be finished before next summer's election deadline further complicating the issue. John Keffer, Channel 10 Newsbeat.